2023, drop your presidential ambition. North has chosen R.G. Kalo, Lamedo Teres Tinubu, Osibanjo, and others. The Director General, Ariwa Summit International, Dr. Baish Lamedo, has advised Asiwe Jubola Tinubu, the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, and other presidential hopefuls. From the southern Nigeria to jettison their presidential ambitions by backing Senator O.J. Uzo Kalo. Lamado, a chieftain of the APC, made this submission yesterday while entertaining questions from journalists in Yula. Lamado advised the southern APC aspirants to throw their weight behind the former governor of Abia State. Dr. Oji Uzokalo to emerge as the president in 2023. He noted that Northern Nigeria were backing the senator chief whip because of his nationalistic background. According to him, the North won't support a regional candidate like Tunubu, Usibanjo, Omai, or Amechi. It's about trust and who can truly defend Nigeria. In 2023, we won't support any regional candidate. Kalo has what it takes to lead Nigeria. He knows Nigeria too well, having been in close and brotherly relationship with the North. In the past 38 years, we won't support someone that would emerge and destabilize Nigeria. It is important they step down now and adopt OG because the North won't support them Politics is a game of interest. And RJ Uzokalo is the interest of not and millions of other Nigerians, he said. Oh, really? Is that man the best you can choose from the Southeast? Word of Engineer Omai. Anyway, EFCC and the opposition parties won't use his ugly past against him. It's like need someone it's like you guys need somebody that's agreed on all our terms and conditions no matter how ridiculous provided the not is favored at the expense of others hope a life if nigeria truly want to get it right they would stand for peter obi okay just check his record and compare is it only not that we decide for the whole 550 tribes in Nigeria, Tinubu to Jeston presidential ambition. It's like telling him Tinubu to Jeston his life. I believe after Tinubu read or hear this Lamado's comment, he will look for a better native words to use and cause Lamado. All of them should pack where and support Peter Obi. Enough of those school politicians, they do, they when none they do youth service nigeria needs to address this issue well okay all right guys these are reactions by nigerians and they are still talking i saw somebody asking how many votes from southeast for apc in the last general election and that is the truth the southeast can only ask for president from pdp and not apc if there is anything to go by Talk what you know and don't be discriminative, my dear. Well, when was that happened? Okay. Anyway, that is ABC. The most qualified person in the Southeast for presidency is Professor Soludo. He is, he is the real person that we can vote for. If Nigerians really want a president from the Southeast, they should go for Peter Obi and Ngige. Vol volume, I concord with you. Let Nigerians decide, not individuals. I This resolution comes to reality so uh, that there can be peace in the zone and the unity of the country can be solid. Scammers, who would the Southeast want to reap where they did not sow? How many votes did the Southeast give to the APC in 2015 and 2019 general elections? 2023, it is Jagaban or nobody. That is your own opinion anyway. How many votes did the Southwest give to PDP in 1999 and, 20, and 2003 
when Obasanjo was given a ticket? Good question, my brother. Of all presidential aspirants, Asiweju Ahmed Tunubu is the most popular. The man will escort anyone among them during primaries and general elections. Okay. I think this at this particular time now, we are not talking about someone who is popular. We, are, we should not be talking about party. Yes, we should not be talking about tribes and whatever. What we really needed now is someone who can redeem this country from where it is right now. Yes, someone who will be the Messiah to redeem this country. Now everybody are jumping out. They want to become president, this and this and that. Don't forget that our politicians, they are just after their pockets. They are just there, me and my family. They don't care whatever. Once they get what they are really looking for, you see them. They don't enter their share with that. And this is what we have been facing. Our past leaders, our present leaders, they are the ones that put us in this mess today. You understand? Nigeria have good resources that can turn this country like U.S. But they prefer to run to U.K. They prefer to run to, in fact, to Dubai. They prefer to run to uh, U.S. Uh, and relax. Even their medical, whatever. They prefer to go to those, you know, countries. But the question is, is this spirit that made it so? Is this spirit? Nigerians no longer have trust in all these politicians. That is the truth. So many persons are saying um, we, we can never trust these people because they have betrayed us several, several times with that number. So many regions are saying, no, we don't want to be here in Nigeria. We want to have our own nation. And you think if Nigeria is actually doing well, people will say, no, I want to utter from Nigeria. I want to have my own nation. They have to check this. First of all, Nigerians don't Nigerians don't trust our politicians anymore. There is no trust because they have betrayed us time with that number. And that is the gospel truth. So guys, I'm going to drop it here. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now. Thank you.